Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm mini jigging. And as you can see, a couple of photographs on the screen. I caught perch and pike out yesterday. Actually, didn't have the camcorder with me. I hope today is not going to be the kiss of death, but I caught a number of small perch and that pike as well. A great hour and a half or so, right at the end of the day. Beautiful early summer stroke, late spring evening. This is the same, will I replicate yesterday? I'll tell you what, let's cast out and find out, shall we? I'm into a pike, it's a very, very small one. But I'll tell you what, if I can land it, very welcome indeed. It's going off on a little bit of a run. Great setup and I'll show you that in a moment or two. But first of all, let me just net this fish. And here it is, I did indeed net it. As you can see, hooked cleanly in the side of the mouth, exactly what we want, just a tiny little jack pike. <laughs> this is why you always kneel down when you have a fish. I've got a, a tight enough grip on that one to stop it hitting the ground. But as you can see, very small, but perfectly formed. I've lost one and I've just connected with another so plenty of fish out there and the first swim that I've tried this evening this one seems a little bit better as well and I'm about to hopefully net it in a moment or two it's another pike a little bit bigger than the one landed previously and as it comes to the side it's going off on a, on a little run as they do but it looks hooked well and proper again in the side of the mouth um, hopefully oh it's it's thrashing trying to shed the hook as they instinctively do but i'm now drawing it over the net in the net and on the bank in a moment or two and i'll show you and here it is as i said bigger than the first fish but still just a little jack but as always very nice to catch indeed Before I cast out again, let me show you my setup. It's actually the rod that I use for drop shotting and the reel as well. I'm fishing with braid and I've, I've got a fluorocarbon length at the end, a hook length if you like, and then it's a one gram jig head and a small Berkeley minnow. Very nice and compact. That'll take the smallest of perch and of course, bigger fish as well and the sort of fishing that I'm doing this evening it's all about fun and enjoyment so I'm not necessarily setting my stall out to catch the biggest fish in here I just want to catch and have fun and I am and that is what angling is all about. I've been getting a few takes nothing after those two pike though but this time round something i.e. another small pike hit the lure as it hit the surface of the water. So my third pike, it's a tiny, tiny one, this time smaller than the others, another pike but no perch. Let me just show you this now to the camcorder. Oh, and it's got, there you can see I've hooked it cleanly in the side of the mouth and it's got the remains of a, another meal in its mouth. Now that looks like a small perch to me. No wonder that I'm not catching any perch with these fellas on the go this evening. I'm about to cast out again and I'll talk you through the way that I approach this type of fishing very, very gently. That's a word that I would use. Gentle, finesse, delicate, that's the approach I'm casting in and then I'm just allowing the lure to move in very, very gentle movements. The idea for me is to keep it moving but not too quickly and that way you get to cover a fair amount of ground and especially in the colder months 
when the fish aren't as active as they are now, that second or two that you keep the bait in front of a fish can mean the difference between having a good day and blanking. But I'm certainly not doing the latter this evening. I'm only here for an hour as well, so thoroughly enjoyed it.